The airport is a lively place. Flights taking off, cars in and out. People come and people go. Not a place you'd expect to find the body of a missing woman. Do you think it had been here the whole time? I think probably. 10 days is all I like traveling. Ron Rowling was a close friend of fellow hairstylist Patty Peck, who owned a salon in Butler Township. And Patty was just easy to get to know, very easy. He describes her as a multi-talented, intelligent woman who loved cats and making people happy. She was that, that kind of person, just loved having fun. And, and in her salon, she was, she was so good to her employees too, very generous. He was one of the last people to see her alive in February 2007. Well, I had seen her on the Friday night before she went missing. And uh, just for a few minutes, and she told me she had plans with her son. He knew immediately something was wrong when he learned she hadn't shown up for work the next day. It was something that was just completely out of her character uh, to do anything like that without telling someone else, because she was just not that kind of a person. Nearly two weeks later, on March 8, 2007, someone spotted Patty Peck's car in a parking lot here at Dayton International Airport. Parked Open legally area. in a transient lot, nobody paid it any attention. Inside was her body, covered with blankets and a towel and stuffed on the back seat floor. She was strangled and blunt force trauma to the head, so she was uh, beaten and strangled. Retired Dayton homicide detective Doyle Burke is working with the cold case unit to take a fresh look at her murder. He believes it was a crime of passion. Oh, absolutely. She was 62 years old. She's not going to put up that much of a fight, especially if she's caught off guard, strangled. Detectives have resubmitted evidence found at the scene to Ohio's BCI lab, including a white plastic bag that covered her head. If it's someone close to the, to the deceased, they'll cover their face with something so they don't have to see what they've done. They also recovered a hair stuck between her fingers by dried blood. Up until just recently, we were not able to do anything with a hair unless it had a follicle. Now we can. And the most intriguing clue? We've been calling it uh, a gas station rose. An imitation rose wrapped in plastic found on top of Patty's body. In my mind, that has to be laid there by her assailant. The evidence that you have, what makes you think that after all these years, that evidence is still enough to help you solve this case? The things that we're doing today, the labs are doing today with DNA, uh, was never even in your mind back then. So that gives us a, a huge advantage. An advantage they believe can help them bring charges against a person they've identified as a suspect. Once that DNA comes back, we will be able to compare that against our suspect and see where that leads us. Why would you do that to this person? She was wonderful. Ron Rowling hopes it answers the question that's never left his mind. She wouldn't have hurt anybody. Why would you do that? Detective Burke is confident this mystery can be solved. Oh, absolutely. I firmly believe that it can be and it will be. He says it's never too late to solve a murder. That's very important to us.